guys and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic and that is the ringworm infection. So let's get started. So what is ringworm? So ringworm of the body, which is also known as tinea corporis, is a rash which is caused by a fungal infection. It is usually a red, itchy, circular rash with clearer skin in the middle. Ringworm gets its name because of its appearance but no worm is actually involved in this infection. The three different types of fungi that can cause the ringworm include trichophyton, microsporum, and epidermophyton. So from this definition of ringworm, we get that it's actually not caused by a worm, but actually by a fungus. And there are three main species of fungus which are actually known to cause the ringworm virus. They are the epidermophyton, the trichophyton, and the microsporum. So when this fungus affects the body of the human, it usually causes this distinctive red itchy circular rash and there's usually clearer skin on the inside. And this is why it gets the name ringworm, because of its ring-like appearance. And the disease is actually very common in children and I remember growing up, my grandmother would always say, oh don't play outside in the sand pit or in the sand in case you catch the ringworm. So now that we know what the basics of the ringworm is, let's take a closer look at how one can contract this disease. So a ringworm infection can be spread in many direct and indirect ways, including person to person. So this happens through direct contact with the skin of a person who is infected with ringworm. So this is especially common in a kindergarten or daycare setup when children who play with one another can come into direct skin contact with the actual lesion which is found in a friend's body and they can contract the disease in this way. So the disease can also be spread from a pet or an animal to a person and this occurs when one has direct contact with an infected pet. So both dogs and cats can also spread the infection to people. Ferrets, horses, rabbits, goats and pigs can also spread ringworm to people. So there are quite a vast variety of animals, especially domesticated animals, which get the tinea corporis infection and can actually spread it to the human as well. So the disease can also be spread from an inanimate item to a person. So it's also possible to get ringworm through indirect contact with objects, including hair of an infected person, bedding, clothing, shower stalls or floors. So if we borrow a sweater from someone who has the various rash on their arms, for example, and then we put the sweater on and the sweater hasn't been thoroughly washed, we can actually contract the disease in this way. And finally, as I mentioned earlier, this was the one my grandmother used to warn me about, and that is the soil to person transmission. So rarely a ringworm infection can be spread through direct contact with highly infected soil for an extended amount of time. And these are all the various ways in which one can contract the ringworm or the tinea corporis infection. So the signs and symptoms of ringworm so patients usually present with red, itchy or scaly patches or raised areas of skin which are called skin plaques. So patches can also develop blisters or pustules which means they can become filled with fluid or even pus. So the patches are usually redder on the outside as we can see in the various pictures or resemble a ring and the patches usually have edges which are defined and raised. So it's a very clear cut defined edge. It's not a very skin infiltrating edge where we can't actually tell where the rash actually ends. It's a very clear cut end. So as we can see, this is what the classic rash of the ringworm infection looks like. And it is most commonly seen in this ring form and that is why it's called the ringworm infection. So moving on, let's talk about the diagnosis of ringworm. So often the diagnosis of ringworm is obvious from its location and appearance and therefore the doctor will be able to clinically put the diagnosis. So otherwise, skin scrapings for microscopic examination and a culture of the affected skin can establish the diagnosis and the confirmation of a ringworm infection. So if the diagnosis is unclear, a potassium hydroxide preparation of skin scraping can be viewed under the microscope to confirm the diagnosis of a fungus. So usually, when a doctor takes a look at the classic aspect of it, we can put the presumptive diagnosis of the ringworm infection. But if we want to confirm the diagnosis, we can do a skin scraping and we can look at these scrapings microscopically for the presence of these fungal bodies. So if we go back to our first slide, this is what the classic aspect of the epidermophyton fungi look like on microscopy. 
This is what the trichophyton fungus looks like on microscopy. And this is what the microsporum fungus looks like on microscopy. And of course, we can also use potassium hydroxide. And this is a preparation which can be used to confirm fungal infections in patients. So we can also use the potassium hydroxide preparation and use the skin scraping to confirm the diagnosis microscopically as well. And finally, let's talk about the treatment of the ringworm. So the ringworm can be treated topically with external applications with preparations which include those that contain clotrimazole, meconazole, ketoconazole, econazole, naphtaphine, and terbophine. And these are all antifungal agents or antifungal creams, which can be applied directly over the lesions and usually clear the rash in about five to seven days quite effectively. And that brings us to the end of this video on the ringworm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.